Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Broken Age. Funny story, I already recorded this last part. I was nearly finished when I looked down and realized my microphone was broken. Ah, well. So let's do it again. Lock it up again. Danger has over for the first time. Anyway, last time, we saved some more of those creatures. Now we need to get to a Prima strategy guide. I mean, a Prima Doom, sorry. In order to save the uh, final creatures that have been captured. I don't even know if they're the final ones or if there'll be more after this, but we'll have to see. Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. And the next time it happens to one of your toys, Shay, your father is not going to retrieve it for you. Hmm. Call into something once when you're two years old and lock it forever. So anyway, yeah, all these missions that we were on... Guess what? They were all on the ship, so they didn't even really count. What's wrong with you? We're not doing the missions anymore, buddy. Hey, missions are cancelled. You can drop the act. I didn't attack you. You guys attacked me. Is that what you came down here for? To point fingers? Hey, can we run the attack mission protocol? Didn't you hear me? I'm in pain! Perfect. You can use it in your acting. Leave me alone! Uh. Well, I gotta go. See ya! <laughs> well, let's see if we can try the thing out with the knife. He's been attacked enough. Hey, okay. missions are cancelled. Hey, maybe I can fix your back. Really? Yeah, I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. You're welcome. And you can run the hug mission again if you want, but there's no point. Well, I gotta go. Hmm. I wonder if I could knit with this. Actually, it's a crochet hook, so you could probably crochet with it. Wow. You know a lot about yarn crafts. Wolf costumes don't make themselves. <laughs> Love all the flavor text in this game. So, uh, we have a crochet hook that we could probably set to use. Hey, Mom. Maybe I can stab her face and stab her face. I don't want to stab that. I do. <laughs> I love the knife. The knife and the spoon. Best characters in the game, period. Alright, here's the ice cream place. Hey, guys. I suppose you want to ride the avalanche mission protocol. Hey! We're supposed to be on break! Yeah, let's not do it. Nope. I just wanted to see what you guys were up to. Not much. You know. <laughs> He's been waiting for you to ask them for a long time. Uh, and it was probably 100% worth it. We had the, the whipped cream gum thing. It's a whipped cream gum. Wait, and it's it. mine. What's up here? So, what's up here? So I'm not supposed to go up there. Oh, Got it. Okay, but why is there so much ice cream here? So she had emergency rations. There's a whole room filled with giant ice cream. Look at all that ice cream. Don't try to steal it. out of this big. How does that happen? When the candy and treats are all you can eat 24-7, they just aren't that appetizing anymore. Oh, this kid's got some real tough problems! <laughs> first world problems. Well, it would be first world if we were actually on a 
gay world, but we're in a spaceship, so I don't know what you call these issues. They're spaceship issues. I don't know. So yeah, remember when we went through the, uh, portal and it shrunk our head in order to get our head back to normal, we have to go back to the other way. However, because it didn't go back to the other way, my head is still a little bit tiny. Hey, what are you trying to do? Uh, teleport? You already went through me, but you didn't teleport back through me. So? So, your head is still messed up. You can't go through again, or it will get worse. You have to teleport back through me the other way, so your head goes back to normal size. So many rules on this ship. Your head is more important than you realize, Shay. Nah, you can live without it. So yeah, what if we had made our head even tinier? Perhaps we could uh, then use that helmet to protect ourselves from the ultraviolet radiation. So let's go through this teleporter. Teleporter. At the dialogue. <laughs> okay, now my head is just getting ridiculous. Oh boy, you went through two teleporters without a return trip, didn't you? You're playing with fire, kid. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. So our head is teeny now, and we still need to get it smaller. So let's go through here and now uh, this? Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. Looks like he took down some Cadillac to make himself a bed. And there's wolf hair on, that means he wears his costume to bed. Okay, I guess. Furry. Jeez. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Oh. Wish I could let them out. But it's for their own safety, I guess. Yeah, so we've saved six of them and there are six, and I guess... Or if that's a little window you can see inside there, or if that's just like kind of a representation of what's in there. Anyway, I hope they're doing okay. And there's Merrick. He's gonna say anything about our tiny head. Merrick. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. Okay. I was hoping to say something about the tiny head. Then we go through here. I ran up at the space weaver. Now while we're here, we have the crochet hook. Perhaps we can even put that to use. Remember when he uh, goes to a different uh, area, he will make a design there. And that design is kind of symbolic of where it wants to go, sort of a navigation map. What if we were to alter it? Now, you want to alter it, you want to make it... This is the star chart for Prima Doom. ...match this, so... But the thing is, you can put extra designs on, but you can't take any off. So if we go to a place and it has, like, a little marking, like, in one of these areas, then we won't be able to do anything about it. So we need to get him to go to an area that fits with our design. Where shall we go today, Wise Commander? And because I already played this in just a few minutes, Go. I already know we want to go to the cozy cluster. Fine, cozy cluster it is. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. This should look better this way. Leave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Let's see what happens. Four, three, two, one. Wait, no. This is not the destination I indicated. I'm so sorry, Ambassador. I will correct this right. What's that? I seem to be out of yarn. Wow, he took that really hard. Don't worry, Space Weaver. As soon as I rescue those helpless creatures, we'll get out of Prima Doom. Yeah, so there's sometimes when the dialogue doesn't do the high pitch thing. But... Oh well. I don't want to wake him till we're out of Prima Doom. He'll just freak out again. Well, anyway, we have that settled. Now let's see about the shields. So we already went 
went through twice in her head, Tanya. We need to go through one more. Teleporter, activate. This is not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. I think that's all my head can take. You need to make a return trip through me right away, Shay. In a minute. Oh man, that that cannot be the blood flow to your brain. That is just that is wrong. But a little snug, but I think it will work. I'm not sure how long I can stand the spoiled milk smell. Yeah. Wash that thing out. Caution. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Let's put on our power Full radiation out. shielding necessary to proceed. And go on through. Yeah, baby. Gotta keep this thing on ice so it doesn't cause a meltdown, I guess. That fusion worm powers the ship's shields, which is critical because we get attacked by enemy spaceships constantly. Mets. I don't want to pick a fight with the fusion orb. It's very powerful. We can take it. <laughs> oh, nice. The fusion orb is more than a spoonful. And also, it's radioactive or something. Gary? Nah, Gary doesn't like to grab slippery things. I'm saving my cream for a matter of life and death. Easy does it. There. Fusion orb. Inhibitor. Not quite. We won't activate the Omicron inhibitor until we're ready to take the shields down. And when will we be ready? As soon as you get us in control of those boom arms again. Right. So that's the last thing we need. Control of the boom arms, which Grab and Gary can take care of. But we need to get up to them. But it's a hard thing when, uh... Grab us away from our destination. We need to propel ourselves away from it. Luckily, we have that ocean now, so let's go. Teleporter, activate. Am I forgetting something? Something that could possibly harm me if I didn't think about it? Now we're good. Not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. Yeah, yeah, you said that. Ow, 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 ow! Oh! Head normalization expedited. You're welcome. I hate quantum physics. Oh no. It turns out that whole head shrinking thing was just faulty wiring. One more trip in that head would pop right off. <laughs> so again, you're welcome. Nice. <laughs> so uh, we are good on that account. And luckily these things will not shrink our heads anymore. Teleporter, activate. To the snow. Hang on! Actually, what I wish I could have shown you there was a What was that? I'm gonna have to look back at my recording and see what that was. But it's, it's actually a part where it says, um, where she's like, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Or like, she says, no malfunctions, as if it's like happening. It's kind of scary. I didn't think it was scary. Oh, well. Anyway. I'm free! In space! Okay. Now what? Let's go see if we still need to go above this thing we have literally infinite directions to go with. That's fine, anyway. Those must be the manual controls for the boom arms. Maybe if I could get this hatch open. No good. Stupid fat hands. Try that thing open. It won't work. I need something really thin to pry it open. Well, well, at least now I finally know what your problem is with me. 
I'm too fat. Fine. You know what? You're right. <laughs> I didn't shoot that before. Glad I did now. <laughs> Actually, I'll need something even thinner than that if I'm going to pry that thing open. All right, knife. It's your time to shine again. Let me try to... Oh, hey. Uh oh, no, no, not the face, or the neck, or the body. I'm free, free to cleave the infinite void of space itself. Phew, that's a relief for a lot of reasons. I'll miss the knife. Yeah. That's it. So uh, let's uh, put the spoon in there. Even if I could reach the controls with that, I don't think I could grab and turn them. Well, uh, rats, can't reach. I think, I think Gary wants to grab that. Okay, grabbing Gary. It's hero time. Yeah, Don't be scared. Well, oh, go ahead. Grab the controls. Oh, yeah, I have the button. Engage. Good boy. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That's enough, Gary. We don't want to attract attention just yet. You sit tight here, and I'll push the button again when it's go time, okay? All right. So everything is ready. Now let's back to Eric. Goodbye, Gary. You were the best present ever. I think Gary's happy to hear that. for you quickly young cub over here we're all set for the rescue mission but enemy forces seem to be aware of us already I'm ready let's do this quickly affirmative the controls are yours you may now use the fusion orb inhibitor button to inhibit the fusion orb and shut down the ship's shields and your remote control for that children's toy, Grab and Gary. Yes, you may now press it to activate Grabbing Gary, and thereby the ship's boom arms. Got it. You ever notice how adults like to talk about like, things that like to the kids like to talk about a game system or anything like that? You always enunciate it here. It's like grabbing. You need to lower the shield so the boom arms can be extended. But oh well, anyway. Careful. So. You can't actually do this. Well done. Now the next one. Last thing I should have done a few times. Go on. Let's see if I can move the ship. Wait for it. Okay, that's all we can do. We're pulling out. No! No! I need to save this last one. Don't make the same mistake you did last time, boy. You said you trusted my instincts, right? I I don't understand. What is it about this creature? I don't know, but it's important. Well, you're the one that said we have to save these things. That's it's right. just one creature. It's not worth the risk, boy. There is no need for this. Right. We've saved more than enough. Guys. Got her. Huh? What? What's that? I... I have no idea. Evasive maneuvers! Attention! Ship is under attack! I can't see her anymore. Forget about the creature. We need to move you to a safe location. Come with me. Yes! Merrick! Run, Jake! Get somewhere safe! Attention! Critical breach in outer hall. 
I can fix this. No! Shay, there we are. Something has happened to the ship, but don't worry. Your father's gone out to fix it. Shay, where are you going? It's not safe! Shay! And that, my friends, is where Act 1 ended for the full release just this past week. Crazy stuff. Let me tell you, when I first saw this scene, I was just blown away beyond reason. I, I, I did not see that coming at all whatsoever. It does kind of make a certain amount of sense, though. I still don't know the whole reasoning behind all this, but... Remember when we were saving those quote-unquote creatures, and we know that they were the Maidens? For the first mission, we saved two, but we had to leave one behind, and we had no choice. That was that girl in Mariloft that we saw, that was uh, on her swing. The second one, there were five creatures to save, just as there were five Maidens. We saved four, but we tried to save the fifth one, which was... Bella here. It didn't quite work out. We saw it kind of get a vicious face, and then it just, everything malfunctioned. And the third time, once more, there were only three creatures, the three maidens, including Bella, once more. And that red light we saw right before everything started malfunctioning was that laser that hit us. As you can see, this is not a spaceship, Mark, and Mark Chandra is not an organic creature. We have not been in space as Shay. This has all been an illusion. What is the reasoning behind all this? Why is all this happening? I have no idea, because from this point on, I will be playing blind. So let's figure out more of the mystery next time on Let's Play Broken Age. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.
can't actually save now. I guess I have to uh, choose one. I'm going to go with Shea first. I'm going to go with uh, everything on land. So I'm going to continue with him and then move back to her inside of Chandra. Later. Son? Son, are you okay? There's been some sort of a accident. Are you hurt? Where's your mother? Shay, uh, you need to snap out of it. Uh, Our ship has crashed. Your mother's still inside. We need to get her out. Splarg! Just help me out of this sand, will you? The helpless creatures. Who are you talking about? Never mind. I'll get myself out. What are you? You need to calm down, son. There's been an accident, and your mother is still trapped. My mother? But you're... You're not... She's really... Yes, she's really in there. And no, I'm not going to leave her behind. We're going to get your mom out of there. My... Mom? I know we haven't seen you much in person lately. It's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or, well, what I thought was a ship, in what I thought was space. We weren't actually in space? The point is, your mom is still inside the thing, and she's not responding to my calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? Sure. Dad? Okay, now I can... Can I? Is that really our ship? Why does it look like a... A monster? I, I don't know. I'll figure it out after we get your mother. So now I'll be able to save. I, I was pressing the wrong button. Anyway, okay, thank you for watching and have a good day.